So as a respondent's advocate, when you're replying to a arbitration notice that you received, one other fi finer point to be considered is to challenge the arbitrability of the dispute. Whilst your client has already agreed that a particular dispute will be submitted to uh, arbitration, there are certain grounds on which on behalf of your client, you can challenge the arbitrability of a dispute in res while responding to the uh, notice of arbitration. Now, there are very limited grounds, for example, uh, grounds like uh, fraud, serious uh, nature of fraud or fraud going to the root of an uh, arbitration agreement per se. And then there are factors like uh, fraud, frauds like uh, fabrication of documents or uh, forgery. In such cases, you can challenge the arbitrability of a dispute, whilst on the other hand, there are certain disputes which by its very nature are uh, non-arbitrable, like your uh, matrimonial uh, disputes, uh, insolvency uh, cases for that matter, and to an extent uh, matters relating to uh, tenancy law. Uh, it's a slightly uh, grey area as far as the uh, tenancy uh, laws are concerned, but as a guide for uh, challenging or understanding the concept of fraud or uh, seriousness of the nature of fraud, uh, the evidence involved or uh, the documentations involved or the details involved in a uh, dispute are so fact heavy or uh, evidence has to be led, you can always say that uh, this particular dispute needs to be adjudicated by a court. And in this uh, regard, you can always uh, that way refer to the uh, Ayasami uh, judgment, which give, which is like a good guide as far as uh, the arbitrability of a dispute is concerned from the angle of uh, fraud or uh, serious uh, nature of fraud. Mm -hmm.